Hey, this is a snake. It's got about 50 to 75 feet of cable. I only need a maximum of 25 feet. If I look at my front and my sewer line and I measure it to the floor, I just need to go out 20 feet for the drop off. I have a tree in the front, fall, the roots would grow into the pipe, and we do need to clean it once in a while. I don't wear gloves. I don't want to lose my fingers. This is how we're going to operate the machine. You're going to pull out the snake. It's in the forward machine. You're going to press on the foot pedal. You're going to loosely grab it. You're going to pull out a foot. You're going to pull out another foot. And you're just going to repeat that. And you're going to do that throughout the whole pipe. And when you come in, you can simply just pull it back in. And that will clear your clog. Let's get into the area. I'll show you how simple it is. It really is. The only thing is, your hands are going to get dirty. And then you may want to just simply clean it off. Let's get right into the dirty mess. And get started. These are 4 inch drain covers. They could be replaced. Grab an old hammer. Use the claws. And you'll slowly get it off. This needs to be changed. You can see all the sewage in there. You can open up the inside and clean the inside as well. I hope this is a good shot for you. Situate yourself that you are comfortable. Do not put your foot over the foot pedal until you're ready to get going. Place in the hole. Simply just put it in. Run it. Let go. Run a foot. Run it. Let go. Start to repeat that process. Really not that hard. And just keep on doing this until you feel that you caught the fog. You're paying somebody to do this a hundred to five hundred dollars. And you'll fail it when you push the snake out. You can run water in there so you can see everything flowing through. So now what's happening is is spiraling inside the sewer line and you want to get that snake to push everything out. You should really have your hands on the snake loosely so you can guide it. You don't want this thing to whip back at you to grab you. So I am showing you some of the right and wrong ways of doing things. Please make sure your hands are really on it and guiding it. But like I'm showing you on and off is how I go about this. I'm listening to the sounds. And when you get it, you'll hear the water go right through.
So it's spiraling up. This is what I like, and I want to keep pushing it slowly through. That's what you don't want. You want to be careful with this slack. I do a long period so it can cut the roots. I need to do is grab my towel because it's going to be wet. Put off the thing. Simply going to slide it in. That's it, I am done. Put the cap back on. You may want to wear a mask because that smells. I am good. Head on over to another house to make some money. But seriously, that's how simple it is to get the job done with the machine. A couple of hundred bucks, 500 bucks for that machine, and it'll pay for itself in five runs. So on that note, if you enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, show a like, and I hope you enjoyed how to clean and maintain your sewer line. Have a great day, and thank you for joining.